A lot of people will tell you that Apex Legends Mobile is a hard game. It's really not. However, it is when you know very little about it. So the best thing to do is keep watching this guide and get a kickstart. For this quick guide, we're going to talk about Apex Legends Mobile's main game mode, Battle Royale. There is absolutely nothing complicated about this game mode at all. As with any Battle Royale, you fly over the map, you drop into the map, you loot, you kill everyone, and then you become the champion. Nothing out of the ordinary at all. Here's the three main specific things that you need to remember whenever you're playing Apex Apex Legends Mobile Battle Royale. Number 1. The game is very heavily team driven. Because of individual legends abilities and how they synergize with other legends, it is much harder to win a gunfight in Apex Legends Mobile. Number 2. Slow time to kill, also known as TTK. Apex Legends Mobile by far has the slowest TTK in all mobile battle royales. This is due to the shield system, smaller mag capacities, abilities and my next point. Number 3. Apex Legends Mobile is very, very movement rich. The fact that you can naturally climb walls and buildings as well as abilities, these two alone makes gunfights a lot less predictable. And the rest, well, standard shooter BR game fundamentals. Here are some of the most important things to get started with. Get to know all the legends ASAP. You drop with absolutely nothing but your legend, so get to know them as soon as possible. What I've done, guys, is I've made individual legend guides for you all to easily digest. All you gotta do is check the description box below this video and click away and also check this out check out iStream.com this place will be your best one-stop shop for all things Apex Legends Mobile whether you're looking for guides Apex Legends Mobile news esports news montages to watch this website has it all so make sure you check that place out and brush up on all things Apex Legends Mobile the absolute best thing to do is go into the firing range and test all of the legends for free yes you can literally play with them for free check out the abilities read the abilities try them see how they work so you know who to play and how to counter them. Best weapons to start with. Right off the bat, the top 5 weapons that you need to pick up ASAP are R301, Alternator, Eva 8 Shotgun, Bolt SMG or Spitfire. These guns offer good damage, easy control and they are quite easy to find. Guess what? All these weapons as well as all the other weapons in the game are all free and available for you to try out in the firing range so I suggest you go in that place and test everything out ASAP. Always try to find the best backpack. In Apex Legends Mobile, inventory space is very limited. You get 10 slots naturally without having a backpack and up to 16 slots when you're wearing a purple or gold backpack. And here's where things get tricky. Ammo takes up slots as well as heals. And before you know it, your backpack is already full. So plan ahead and only pick up what you need. Shield system. In Apex Legends Mobile, there are three types of shields that you need to understand. The body shield, the helmet, and the knockdown shield. Body shields. There are two main types of body shields. The Evo shields and the gold shield. Evo shields are body shields that evolve the more damage you deal to an enemy. Then we have the loot only shield which is the gold shield. Body shields offer full protection against most incoming damage. So in basic terms your body shield will absorb the damage before your base HP does. There are a very few things that deal direct damage to your base HP fully ignoring shields such as caustic toxic gas as well as the ring damage. Evo shields evolve from white to red with the red offering the highest amount of damage absorption. Full stats on my website. The gold shield however is a special loot only shield that does not evolve into red. But it offers a fantastic perk that is absolutely perfect for legends like Lifeline, Gibraltar and Mirage. Check out the full stats on my website. Helmets. Helmets reduce bonus damage taken from headshots. They are loot only and does not evolve at all. Then we have the knockdown shield. Knockdown shields offer a frontal dome protection when you are knocked down. When you're using a knockdown shield, your movement is slowed down to 50% and you cannot heal. There are two types of knockdown shields. The one with the normal tiers that goes from white to purple. And you have the special gold knockdown shield shield which has the same stats as purple but it gives you a self revive perk so when you get knocked down you can revive yourself back in and last but not the least knockdown shields do not evolve and they are loot only Yo guys, quick one. Seeing as you've made it this far into the video, I'm gonna assume that you're finding it helpful as well as enjoying yourself. So, why don't you help a boy out and help his video grow? Smash that like button and off you go. Thank you. Health system. 
So we've touched upon the shields and the helmets and all of that. Now let's talk about the base HP. Most damage taken are dealt to the shield first. And like I said before, there are a very few things that deal direct damage to the base HP, such as like caustic's toxic gas, as well as the ring damage. Let's break things down in simple terms. Once your HP drops to zero, you get knocked down. When you're knocked down, you get granted another 100 HP that lasts for 90 seconds. If your HP drops to zero again, or the 90 seconds goes by without anyone resurrecting you, you die. So to avoid getting knocked down or dying, make sure you stay healthy. And to do this, body shields are repaired using shield batteries, shield cell, and phoenix kits. And as for your base HP, you can use a medikit, syringe, or a phoenix kit to heal yourself up. So, what happens when you die? Well, players can be brought back in if they get killed on a battlefield. All you gotta do is go to your dead teammate's box, pick up their banner, and go to any respawn beacons that haven't been used yet. Or, if you happen to have found a mobile respawn beacon and you have one in your bag, drop it on the floor and use that instead. Pro tip, any team member can go to the respawn beacon and scan the banners in. It doesn't have to be the one who picked up the banner. And you know what else you can do? Watch this movement guide.